President Trump ushered in the new year by blasting Pakistan for giving the U.S. nothing but lies and deceit while harboring terrorists and calling for change in Iran, where 10 people were killed in protests. The United States has foolishly given Pakistan more than $33 billion in aid over the last 15 years, and they have given us nothing but lies and deceit, thinking of our leaders as fools, Trump said in his inaugural tweet of 2018. They give safe haven to the terrorists we hunt in Afghanistan, with little help. No more, Pakistani Foreign Minister Khawaja Asif tweeted that his government was preparing a response that will let the world know the truth. The uneasy relationship between the U.S. and Pakistan has been on a precipitous slide since the 2011 American operation that located and killed Osama bin Laden in the military garrison town of Abbott Abbott, about 65 miles from the capital Islamabad. Trump ramped up the pressure last year when he announced his Afghan strategy that called out Pakistan for harboring Afghan Taliban insurgents, warning it would have to end. The U.S. has long accused Istanbul of allowing extremists to operate relatively freely in Pakistan's border regions to carry out operations in neighboring Afghanistan. Last week, The New York Times reported that the White House was considering whether to withhold $255 million in already delayed aid to Pakistan because of its failure to target terror groups. Last month, Trump hinted that he may cut off the aid for good, according to agents France Press. We make massive payments every year to Pakistan. They have to help, he said in unveiling his national security strategy. Vice President Mike Pence told U.S. troops during a visit to Afghanistan late last month, President Trump has put Pakistan on notice. In August, the president declared that Pakistan often gives safe haven to agents of chaos, violence, and terror. That month, He also unveiled a new U.S. strategy for the war in Afghanistan aimed at defeating the Afghan Taliban and the Haqtani Network, an affiliated group operating in Pakistan, The Hill reported. In July, the Pentagon withheld $50 million in funding for Pakistan after Defense Secretary James Mattis told Congress he would not certify the country had done enough to fight the Haqtani group. Islamabad has repeatedly denied the accusations of turning a blind eye to militancy, assailing the U.S. for ignoring the thousands who have been killed on its soil and the billions spent fighting extremists. The president also tweeted early Monday that Iran is failing at every level amid a wave of protests over the government's weak economy. Iran is failing at every level despite the terrible deal made with them by the Obama administration, he tweeted. The great Iranian people have been repressed for many years. They are hungry for food and for freedom. Along with human rights, the wealth of Iran is being looted. Time for change, state television said Monday that 10 people were killed in street protests in Iran, according to Reuters. On Sunday, Trump tweeted, The people are finally getting wise as to how their money and wealth is being stolen and squandered on terrorism, the president wrote on Twitter.